All right, Shalom. This is Brother Yuan Athan, the Bible Wong, coming at you another list. Spirit and power, Yahweh, by Shemel Shah. First and foremost, as always, I want to start by giving all praises and glorifications to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders that great minister and well. Peace, love, and salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of the earth, preaching his word and truth and his sincerity. Shalom. All right, the title of this lesson is Jake is only loved when being a degenerate. And hated when having a ruling class mentality okay and um it seems that's the case because um when jake is uh being a buffoon a coon a damn minstrel you know for society be, uh, uh uh entertaining you know to you devils that's when he's love okay like a uh, prime example back in the 60s okay um, you had groups, these R and B groups, uh, uh, these Jakes that put on shows, you know, for you so-called white people, you know, when they uh, go to the concerts, you dance, you sing along, you know, and then when it's time for them to leave, all right, your mentality is is go home, nigger, all right, hey, that hey, that's the only time they love when they're they're entertaining you, man, okay, pretty much, just. You know, just Jake being wicked, man. Hey, even amongst our people, man. Even amongst uh, uh, the two thirds, um, hey, you women, you women uh, act like you love. You know, I'm pri I'm primarily talking about the so-called black man, by the way, man. All right, let's just start with him, the Judite man. As long as he's being wicked, you know, a, a coon, you know, you have no problem. Okay, like when when it comes to you women, you know, you like the the bad guy, the 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 the, the thugs you know the the, the jakes that sell drugs man okay versus a, a so-called good man that'll you know go to work okay um uh do what he got to do to make ends meet you don't want those kind you know you'll end up uh, uh fucking around on them but when it comes to that that thug nigga you know that thug nigga you'll let him stay all up in the house with no job play video games and you don't you don't give him much hell like you'll do a Jake that's actually going out there uh, trying to make something out of himself, man. Okay? That's another example, man. Okay? And, and you other Jake men, you love Jake just being, you know, just being wicked, man. Okay? Like brothers that was in the world, okay? Don't have uh, those same uh, uh, friends anymore that was in the world because what you was doing, a lot of uh, uh, brothers in the world was doing smoking weed. You know, um, committing adultery, okay. Even when it comes to your family, man, they uh, a lot of uh, 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 bugs got kicked out of the house versus when they was uh, being wicked in the world, okay. They would they they wasn't kicked out then, smoking weed or uh, uh, selling drugs, you know. But when you come in this truth, having a ruling class mentality, okay, uh, uh, uh repenting, coming back to Yahweh by Shemal Shah. Then it's a it's a fucking problem, man. All right, so that just shows you. Let me get a scripture on that, man. I just want to speak on this, man, because hey, right, man, it's, this world is totally ass fucking backwards, man. Let's see, uh, Isaiah. Let me see. Let's get Isaiah five. Is Jake only love when he's a uh, wicked man, you know. And here it is, the, the society, you know, they talk down on Jake. You know, they, they uh, uh, speak all kind of um, um, uh, ill on Jake. But when he's being wicked, when he's being entertaining, okay, then you got all kind of uh, uh, um, um, good things to say about him, man. Okay, versus, you know, he, he just being, you know. But matter of fact, let me just get a script. This is Isaiah 5 and 20. It says, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. That put darkness for light and light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. But the point being, woe, which means destruction unto them that call good a socket, call evil good and good evil. So Jay got here being wicked, you know, you don't got nothing to say. Versus when he wakes up to his nationality, you know, he comes back to Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Then, then it's, a, it's like I said, it's a fucking problem. But Jake still talked down upon, man. Okay, 
we talk all this shit about Jake, but here it is. These other nations want to be Jake. You know, they emulate Jake. Okay. They, they, uh, 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 try to talk like Jake, walk like Jake. But, uh, but at the same time, you talk shit about him, man. You know, that shows you we're the true people of the Lord, man. Okay. Here it is. The nigga woman, especially say, ah, oh, Jake ain't shit. You know, here it is. She had about three, four kids from about, uh, uh, uh five different niggas, <laughs> you know, uh, or multiple niggas. 10 kids from multiple niggas, but she'll keep uh, uh, choosing the same pattern of wicked ass men. And then she she turns around, holler, niggas ain't shit. Okay? You call it, you call it evil good, man. Good evil, man. All right? So let's read it again. It says, what went to them that call evil good and good evil that put darkness for light and light for darkness? So this truth is the light. Okay? This truth is uh, uh, light. This world is darkness, and the ways of this world, the philosophy of this world, is uh, darkness, man. It says that put bitter for sweet, and sweet for bitter. Okay, which the scriptures, you know, it, it goes into how this truth is bitter and sweet. But for the most part, at the end of the day, man, this being the good news, this is sweet, man. <laughs> this is sweet. See, a brother, a uh, shalom, um, the brothers and sisters tuning in, uh. I'm going to grab this precept. All right. This is uh, from GMS Food Convenient. All right. It's, this is uh, Cyrac 13 and 16. It says, all flesh consorteth according to kind. <laughs> a man will cleave to his light. Right. So if you wicked, guess what? You're going to cleave on the wickedness, man. And, and women, man, you, you inherently, women are for the most part inherently wicked. So they're going to cleave the niggas like a uh, 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 young thug and, and, and um all these degenerates out here these skinny jean wearing faggot niggas man you know these wicked weed smoking ass niggas man they're gonna cleave the niggas like that you know because they fucking wicked man okay uh let me read this one this is proverbs 17 to 15 it says he that justified the wicked and he that condemneth the just even they are abomination to the lord you how about shmouth shot right so they both were abomination man okay the, I, um, the ones that uplift wickedness, man. You know, that the ones that uh, encourage wickedness. You abomination. Okay? You letting that individual be wicked. I'm, and I'm primarily talking about you Israelites, man. Okay? And these churches, man. That's why... I, I, and another thing I was thinking too, man. Uh, a, 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 a so-called Negro or, or Israelite man, he, he's, a, a, he's loved when he's a, a sodomite too, man. You know? Or a pastor, which they sodomize too, you know. They love when they sodomize a, a pastors for the most part, man. Especially a sodomite, man. Okay. Hey, they get all kind of praise and glory. Hey, the nigga woman even love you niggas. They they love to see you in your uh, 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 in an effeminate uh, uh, state, man. In a uh, in a real complete degenerate state. Let alone Esau. He loves to see Israel. Uh, um, monkeying around, mystery and cooning around, you know, not knowing who the hell he is. They love to see that, man. Hey, you nigga women, all right, you, you love to see that too, man. For the most part, you just like Esau. You emulate the damn devil, man, because you're the damn devil. Okay, so I'm going to read this again. This is Proverbs 17 and 15. It says, he that justified the wicked and he that condemneth the just, which is uh, uh, the elect, Okay, the wicked is Esau and, and you two thirds. But in this case, I'm speaking on the two thirds of uh the men of Israel, okay, or the so called men of Israel. And start from the top again it says, He that justified the wicked, and he that condemneth the just, which is again the elect, the righteous, even they both are abomination to Yahweh by Shemel Shah. So you're abomination. You are a fucking abomination, man. Okay, you 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 condemn the just, you condemn the righteous, the ones out there that's that's actually standing up for something, that's actually standing up for y'all by Shmuel Shah. Okay, let me get another precept. All right, um, let me see. I want to get up Proverbs twenty-four and um nine. It says the thought of foolishness is sin. So to be a coon, a minstrel. And, and playing around, monkey around all the time, 
you know, doing wickedness is sin. Because wickedness is foolishness, really, man. And you look at it, it says, and a scorner is an abomination to men. Yeah, you scoffers and scorners, you abomination. Because you coming up against the men of the Lord that's trying to do right. You can't even be a man in this goddamn society, man. You can't even uphold the laws uh, perfectly, all right? Because why? This devil's ruling, the so-called white man, the wicked, man. Okay, and he loves when you chicks being wicked because you stay disconnected um, um, from your true power source, which is which is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah or power sources. Yahweh why Yahweh Shah. You staying disconnected, man. Okay. Let me read it one more time. It says the thought of foolishness is sin. Again, it, it, it's a transgression to be foolish or playing all the goddamn time. I be seeing on these prank um, videos on YouTube how Jake just plays so fucking much, man. You know, about to get his ass what will possibly kill. And a lot of you, you're going to get judged, man. A lot more you're going to get judged, all right, for playing around too goddamn much. See, Jake played too fucking much, man. You know? It says, again, the thought of foolishness is sin, and the scorner is an abomination to man. So you're abomination, okay? You you come up against the words of Yahweh. Why Yahweh shy? You're, you're a goddamn abomination, man, Okay? So the Lord created us to be a uh, upright people, not a fucking degenerate people. Let's get that scripture in Jeremiah 2 and 21. Okay. This is Jeremiah 2 and 21. And then um, I'm going to grab Deuteronomy 7 and 6 of milk. All right. This is Jeremiah 2 and 21. It says, yet I had planted thee a noble vine. Okay. Holy, uh, up, it's like it. holy, a right seed. See? How then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? Okay, so we know, like, uh, I like to use this example all the time, going back to the uh, book of Judges, Israel constantly uh, kept going off and, and constantly going into captivity after captivity after captivity on these other nations because they want to follow after these other nations because these other nations, they really degenerate. They weren't created to be upright and holy. You Israelites were, man. All right, and, and, and you men of the nation, you're 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 supposed to lead by example concerning the law, statutes, commandments of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. But for the most part, you're not doing that because you know we're under the curses and we're under this damn devil, man. Okay, we're under this damn devil. But hey, that's why the Lord has an elect. That's why He has a, a few good men, so to speak. Okay, which is the election. Okay, to turn things right side up. Okay, and it starts with the uh, the elect men of the nation of Israel. Okay, the elect men or uh, 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 Lord will I'm part of that number. We're gonna turn things right side up, and ultimately, when Yahweh Shah returns, our big brother comes back and destroys this goddamn place, man, and put the wicked out of their fucking misery. Okay, so again, Jeremiah two and twenty one, it says, "Yet I had planted thee a noble vine." Most I set us set us up to be a noble vine, okay? Holy, a right seed. He set us up to be a right seed, right? How then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? So you're a strange vine right now. The Lord don't. Hey, that's why the scriptures say the Lord call you a no people, man. You are no people to the Lord except the elect. Okay, two thirds mean nothing to the Lord right now. That's why the scriptures say all Israel. It's not Israel. All Israel is not Israel, man. Because all Israel is not doing the uh, what Yahweh by Shemal Shai is uh, 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 commanded. Okay? Like keeping the law, statutes, commandments to the best of their ability. You know, um, um, serving the Lord in, tr in truth and sincerity. Doing the works. You know? For the most part, our people are not doing that because they don't, they don't care about Yahweh by Shemel Shah. And therefore, that's why uh, two thirds of the nation of Israel will be destroyed. All right. Well, let's get that precept in Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. It says, For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. All right. So above all people upon the face of the earth, we were supposed to be uh, holy and separate. That's what holy means, man. All right. And uh, the scriptures also say we are pe uh, peculiar people. OK, you're peculiar people. We're supposed to be we supposed to stand out more and more. But 
for the most part, our people want to be like the other nations. They want to be degenerate and low like these other uh, fucking nations, man. All right, especially you men. All right. So if you men ain't in order, guess what? Our women not going to be in order. Because that old saying, I like to say it all the time. How you tell a nation is destroyed? Look at the state of they look at the state of our fucking women, man. They are out here uh, uh, doing what the fuck they want. All kind of liberty that the so-called fucking white man give them. You know, being promiscuous, dressing like whores and sluts. Okay? They they degenerate for the most part, too. Especially the so-called black woman, man. Because she's totally fucking gone. That's spirit, 441. You know? She's totally fucking gone out here, man. Doing all kind of wickedness, man. Killing her children. You know, having Jake... More you jace put to death that follow after a black ass, want to kiss her ass, man. You know? And meanwhile, a lot of you black women getting put to death too, and rightfully so. You know, because you're fucking degenerate, man. All right? But for the most part, man, they hey, uh Esau, the so-called white man, other nations love when we we are clueless about who we are, man. Okay. That's why uh Esau, where the elites primarily they know. That uh, the Lord only needs uh, the elect. That's why he's trying to um, stop this truth. That's why he's trying to uh, uh, ban the Bible. You know, he wants to ban the Bible. All right. Like I say, he wants to clip our videos, you know, live feeds and terminate our, our, our pages. Damn, you, you, you damn near can't say anything about the so-called Jew, man, without him clipping your page or the, uh, the Holocaust, man. You know, without him want to uh, clip your page, man. Okay, so hey, it's a it's a war on this truth. It's a war on masculinity. Okay, it's a war on um uh, um Jake, primarily you men, man, that that's standing up for righteousness, man. Okay, because we're living in a, a, a feminine, bitch ass society, man. That we got to coexist in, man. This is not a place, all right, for an Israelite man. Okay, we say that time and time again. This is not a place for you Israelite men, man. We need to fuck up out of here, man. Okay, Jake don't want to get right, you know. You and I'm talking about you men, cause you you're the like I said, you're the most important of the nation, the men, man. It starts with you, man. Supposed to lead by example, but like I said, man, it, that's all right, cause the Lord has an elect. Okay, that's and that's why He's shortened these days for the elect's sake. You know, the elect's sake, He's shortened these days, man. Okay, matter of fact, let me get that, and I'm about to wrap up. I ain't gonna hold you, brother, sister. You know what I'm saying? time too much man just want to get this out this is uh matthew 22 no 24 and uh 22 it says except those days should be shortened there should no so like there should no flesh be saved see that because hey they want to um it's an agenda on manhood like i said and a agenda on um or a war on masculinity and it starts with you jakes you you're the main target they like i said they love seeing Jake out here being a feminine, okay, being a, a complete uh, um, abomination, man, okay, it says, and except those days be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days should be shortened, and the, the Lord, he shortened these days, man, that's why the scriptures also say pray for a few days, pray for a few days, man, hey, hey, it put curses on this fucking place every goddamn day, man, okay, I'm facing the east right now, man. You know? Well, well, I'm gonna put a curse on this bitch when I um um get through with this video, man. All right? Put curses on this goddamn place every day. Pray the Lord speed this thing up. Hey, hey, the Fed now is supposed to roll out. You got Israelites out there teaching against the MOTB being the um, micro C help, man. Okay? Esau loves seeing um division amongst Israel. But that's prophesied too, man. You know, hey, the scriptures say, um, mark them that cause division. When you read the book of Romans uh, 16 and 17, mark them that cause division. And, and we, and that's what we do, do spirit and power, Yahweh, by Shemel, Shah. We mark those individuals that cause division amongst uh, uh, Israel and, and chiefly amongst the doctrine of Yahweh, by Shemel, Shah. And, and those things got to be brought out, man. Uh, uh, those individuals got to be rebuked. Do the spirit and power y'all by Shemel Shah, man. Because that's what we do here at Great Millstone. Hey, you, you go off, we call it out. So it won't be a stumbling block to the elect, man. All right? 
it won't be a stumbling block to to the election out there, man. So we trying, we on a mission, all right, to 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 get out of here, man, to be delivered, all right, to to get out of captivity. So the Lord. It's shortened these days and all praises to Yahweh by Shemal Shah, man. We don't have to worry about Jake, how he been a degenerate anymore, man. Being low, you know, not standing up for nothing. Don't um, don't have a not having a pair of uh, a, 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 a sack of balls, man. You know, just being blunt, man. You know, then um, um, the, the so-called white man run run over him. His woman run over him, man. Not being a fucking man. The scriptures command us to be men, man. The Lord commands us to be men. Okay, stand up like men. All right, let me get a scripture on there. I'm about to close out. This is Job 40. <clears throat> it's like, this is Job 40 and uh, 7. It says, gird up thy loins now. Meaning, hey, right now, really. Gird up thy loins now like a man because time is short the lord requires us to be men man i know fucking um um degenerates out here man childish and all this man, and foolish man what did paul say when i was a child i did childish things when i became a man i put away childish things you got grown-ass niggas out here having a, a a child mentality man you know and, and, and uh, they act like women they're emotional you can't even reason with them. You can't have a good uh, sit down with a, a a male Jake and have a good man to man conversation without him getting butt hurt in his fucking feelings. Want to fight you or possibly kill you. All right. You're too goddamn emotional, man. So uh, again, it says gird up thy loins. Now, like a man, I will demand of thee and declare thou unto me. So the Lord demands us to be men. All right. The Lord demands us and commands us to be men, man. OK, not no fucking punks, man. All right, the scriptures say be a good soldier in your house shot, man. OK, I can't stand a weak ass nigga, man. You know, you got a lot of weak niggas out here, man. And the Lord going to put an end to this shit real soon. All you weak punk ass niggas out here, man. Don't stand up for shit. You know? But hey, all praises are, I, I keep no, I keep reiterate all praises has a remnant, man. Because the only way to be a man, a man really, is to be in this truth, man. That's the only way you're a fucking man. Okay? You in this truth. You standing up for Yahweh by Shemal Shah. That's what makes you a man, man. Okay? Not being out here in this punk ass world. This to the so-called fucking white man, your fucking woman, man. All right. So I'm going to end it off on that, man. Hey, Lord willing, this is edifying. I'm sign off by saying again, all praises and glorifications goes to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rekakodash, double arms to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone Well. Peace, love, and salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of her preaching's word and truth and in sincerity. I'm going to say Shalom, Kormi Ashala, and Ababa Ball. Shalom.